Hello and welcome back to the channel. As usual, I'm going to ask um, all my thank all my returning subscribers and thank all the new people who have subscribed. As I said, we are growing in leaps and bounds. We're just getting there. Um, and for all those beautiful people who have been watching but who haven't really subscribed, it doesn't take anything. Just hit the subscribe button, and you know you'll be notified whenever I put out new content. And if you really, really want to be notified, and uh, just hit that little bell icon and. And of course, everything that I send out will get to you immediately. Now, today the topic is going to be about concrete. Now, if you're building a house in Jamaica, your house is going to be almost certainly made out of concrete. The only other thing that's going to be in your house is, is rebar, steel. I mean, you know, apart from your doors, windows, and all those other things, but your basic structure is going to be made out of concrete. Concrete comes in many, many grades. There's a science to mixing concrete and getting the best out of your concrete. Now, your blocks are made out of concrete your foundations are going to be made out of concrete and pretty much everything else that you're going to do to your house on your house over your house under your house is going to be made out of concrete so the grade of concrete that you use it will depend on where you're using the concrete and what you're using it for and of course the grade of concrete depends on the, the ratio of cement to aggregate and sand and water the closer the ratio of cement to aggregate is the stronger your concrete is going to be the less water you put in your concrete is the stronger it's going to be so a little bit more about concrete and how it works you see when you mix your cement with your water and your aggregate a chemical reaction happens with all those uh, material and the longer the chemical reaction goes on is the stronger the concrete gets so that's the reason you want your concrete to remain moist for as long as possible so that that chemical reaction will continue as long as possible and will convert as much of the various materials into that hard cementitious mixture for as long as possible and so that is why you use your plasticizer when you use your plasticizer and your concrete remains moist for longer it doesn't crack and it it will be the strongest possible plasticizer is a substance that is added to a material to make it softer and more flexible to increase its plasticity to decrease its viscosity or to decrease friction during its handling in manufacture so when you when you add a plasticizer to your concrete mixture what you are doing is decreasing the friction between the various materials that you add together to make your your concrete so when you decrease the friction between them then they will when you make up the concrete mixture they will settle easier viscosity is a measure of how things flow so imagine that you have concrete the concrete is very viscose that means that it has a very high viscosity it sticks together so if you want to use the concrete to form something like your foundation or your column something that you're going to box up and you don't need a lot of void in it, then what you want to do is use a lot of water and problem is when you use a lot of water then the concrete mixture when it hardens becomes weak the less water you put in it is the is the stronger it gets a plasticizer decreases the viscosity in other words when you put a plasticizer inside of your concrete mixture you don't have to add a lot of water to it because remember water makes it weak what that is going to do is decrease the viscosity of it and make sure that the concrete can flow better that means that when you put a plasticizer in your concrete, it will flow into all the little crevices and corners and avoid all the voids that you would normally have when you put up your forms and your foundations. Also, because there is less void in the concrete, then the concrete is denser and much stronger. And you can use up to 25% less water. The plasticizer will increase the curing time. The longer the curing time is in your concrete, concrete is the harder it is so if your concrete remains moist for long then the chemical reaction that makes it into concrete continues for longer and the longer the chemical reaction continues is the harder and better
outside your concrete is and the less likely it will be to crack. So by now, I guess you want to know what exactly you can use as a plasticizer. Now believe it or not, the most common and cheapest plasticizer that is used is sugar, cane sugar. But there is a much cheaper one that is used all over the world and that is molasses. So you simply measure out the amount of plasticizer, the amount of molasses that you want to use and you add it to your water so you mix it like sugar and water. Don't put no lime in it. Though. Anyway, you add it to your water. Water. you mix it out completely and then you use that mixture to mix your concrete is as simple as that and believe it or not that is what your basic plasticizer is now if you want to get all fancy and everything you can just run down to tank well and ask them for a plasticizer and they'll sell you one and they'll tell you how to mix it too but you don't really need to do that you're gonna make your own blocks and all of that sort of thing and you want them to be hard you're gonna be making your vibrating blocks just drop some sugar in it if you really don't get it if you really don't have any uh, molasses and if you have some molasses a cup of molasses in your water and then you're, you're good to go you would think that's such a simple thing everybody would know this but apparently a lot of people don't so so now the last thing we want to talk about is something called slump now you're unlikely to ever encounter that term if you're building your dream house in jamaica i'm going to be honest with you but it is something that you probably should need to learn if you are going to take the time to learn about concrete given the fact that you want to be able to, to have your own information, to have good information and all the information at your fingertips. So, with that being said, slump is a measure of the workability of the concrete, the ability for you to mold the concrete. Now, generally speaking, the lower the slump is, the easier the concrete is to mold. In other words, when you have that concrete and say, for example, you should make a ball out of it or you should make it into a cone, it will stand on its own. That is low slump concrete. Now, High slump concrete is that soupy mixture that will not stand on its own. It's usually what they use, used to make foundation in Jamaica. Now, that is not the best idea. That is not the best way to do it, but that is how it is usually done. So, that is the measure of slump. Now, as a general rule, you want to have somewhere in between that. So, that is where your plasticizer come in and your water. As we said before, the more water in the concrete is the less the quality. The less water in the concrete is the better the quality but the more water in the concrete is the um, higher is the higher the slump the more it will be able to pour if the slump is very low it will not pour but then if you add a plasticizer to your low slump concrete, then that will increase its pourability. As I said before, what I'm doing is meant to give you a little bit of information so that you can make informed decisions on, on building your dream house in Jamaica. Make decisions that will save you a lot of money and will give you a good product. So, as usual, we are glad that you are here. We're glad that you could watch. Thanks for watching and we will catch you on the next one.